What is going on guys, this is Elijah here, and today I am back with another college football prediction video, and this time it is between the Georgia Bulldogs versus the Florida Gators. Alright, so as you guys know, I'm going to be talking about the Georgia Bulldogs versus the Florida Gators, and this is going to be at the TIAA Bank Field in Jacksonville, Florida. Time is 3.30 p.m. Eastern Time, November 2nd, 2019, and coverage will be on CBS. And this is a good rivalry game. Uh, Georgia and Florida hate each other, and uh, they always play in a neutral site each year in Jacksonville. Uh, the last two years, Georgia has won, prospectively, against Florida. Uh, so let's go back to see the last two games. Uh, Georgia won in uh, 2017, 42-7. Georgia won 36-17 uh, last year. And this year could change. Uh, Florida could possibly upset Georgia, and this game decides who in the SEC East has a chance to go to the college football playoffs because I don't think that when you lose two games you have a chance, especially Georgia when they lost to South Carolina, who that was a bad loss and that was just a weird, weird game. Uh, I think Georgia should have won, uh, but they 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 choked it because the uh, kick the kicking game was terrible and then that last segment was in the overtime, which is awful. And of course, Florida lost to a good team, LSU, so they have a chance if they can beat Georgia, they also have a chance to go all the way and, and face Alabama, and then that's, that's going to be a tough matchup. So, as you guys like uh, know, I like to go through the matchup predictor, season leaders, and team stats, and then I'll give my final prediction at the end. So, the match predictor has Georgia with a 60.9%, Florida 39.1% of the matchup, uh, matchup predictor. So, uh, that doesn't really mean anything because anything can happen in the game. So, for the season leaders, we have Jake Fromm with 123 completions to 174 attempts, 1,406 passing guards, 9 touchdowns, and 3 interceptions. He's kind of a struggle this year, and their offense hasn't really done a great. Uh, they, they struggled early on in the game, and then they late and they come back late and win. Kyle Trask has done a great job so far in Florida, uh, filling in for Felipe Franks after his uh, ending season uh, injury. Uh, he has completed over 114 Completions to 169 attempts, 1,391 passing yards, 14 touchdowns, and 4 interceptions. For rushing yards, we have DeAndre Swift with 110 carries, 752 rushing yards, and 7 touchdowns. So he's done a great job. Michael Piran, or Piran, I think that's how you pronounce his last name. Piran, 100 carries, uh, 460 rushing yards, and 4 touchdowns. For receiving wise, we got Georgia. We got uh, George Pickens. Uh, we got he has 23 receptions, 318 receiving yards, and two touchdowns. So not bad at all. For Florida, we have uh, Kyle Pitts with 35 receptions, 391 receiving yards, and four touchdowns. So not bad either. All right. Lastly, we go to team stats. We go points per game, uh, almost similar to each other. Uh, Georgia has 36.0 uh, points per game. Florida has 32.5. I don't know how you have 0.5, which just makes no sense. Uh, points allowed per game, we have Georgia, 10.6 uh, points allowed per game, so not bad at all. Uh, G Florida, we have 15.8 points allowed per game, so I guess it's going to be another defensive game, uh, low scoring uh, in this one. Uh, total yards, we have Georgia, 471.3. We have Florida, uh, 40, uh, 419.6 total yards. Yards of passing, we have Georgia 234.4. We have Florida uh, 277.3. Uh, yards of rushing, we have Georgia. Uh, we have 236.9 rushing yards. And then Florida, we have 142.4 yards of rushing. So that's not really that great for Florida. Uh, so they're more of a passing team, and Georgia's more of a running team. Uh, so, But it could change either way. Um, but Kyle Trask is a good quarterback. And uh, so, yeah. Yards allowed, we have Georgia 266.7, and Georgia or Florida, my bad, uh, has 319.5, so that's not really that great. Uh, uh, passing yards allowed, my bad, uh, Georgia has 181.0, uh, Florida has 195.4. Rushing yards allowed, this is huge for Florida, uh, 85.7 rushing yards allowed, while uh, Florida still pretty good for 124.1 yards of rushing. I know I might get a little bit of hate from this video for my um, prediction, but I think this is the year for Florida to upset Georgia, and this is a do-or-die mode for both teams because this game 
solidifies to see who has a, a chance to make it to either the SEC championship and to face off Alabama and to beat Alabama or LSU, uh, who, who can uh, go there, and then to get into the college football playoffs. I think that Florida is going to win, and uh, I think Jake Fromm might uh, struggle against Florida's defense because Florida has done a great job this year. Even though they lost to um, LSU, uh, but I think Florida might catch Georgia off guard, and I'm going to go with a 20 or a 31 Florida to Georgia's 27. And I think that uh, Florida will have the ball and will, they'll stop Georgia on like a four down when they're trying to go to uh, score an end zone, and Florida will win 31 27. That is my final score. Florida again, 31 points to uh, Georgia's 27. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Who is going to win this game? This is the uh, one of the probably good rivalries in college football, and it's probably it's only the, probably the top 10 team that's actually going to be a good game to watch next week. All right, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Y'all have a great day, and uh, thanks for uh, everything. And guys, have a great one. Peace.